Hello viewers, it's good to be coming your way again with another tutorial video on human geography. Today we'll be looking at the theoretical perspectives in human environment interaction. And by this, we are talking about environmental determinism and possibilism. I'm sure you might have come across this several places. So what comes to mind when we say determinism? Simply determinism means that it's, it's a belief that an idea or an action or human behavior or even culture is determined by the universe or a particular law. While possibilism, on the other hand, shows that human beings have some effect or they are able to cause some changes on the environment. So it gives room for choice and opportunity. I'm sure at the end of the slide we'll fully understand what's these two concepts mean or what these two theories mean however let's take note that this video or this slide this tutorial slides are self-explanatory but as and when necessary some few explanations will be chipped in okay so at the end of it we hope to be fully we hope to fully understand environmental determinism and also grasp and understand what possibilism is So there were some critiques or some criticisms that arose concerning environmental determinism. Some of them were that determinism led to premature generalizations about an area's culture and didn't allow for results based on direct observation or research. So it didn't allow room for research or for scientific study for us to really test and see if 
it's true that the environment is the only determinant of human behavior or culture. Other criticisms also were that human behavior is governed by both internal and external. So it shouldn't be looked at from one point. The external is where the environment comes in and the internal is the human being's preferences, the human being's free will, the human being's ideas, the human being's thoughts and the likes. Some also said that this theory of determinism was more Eurocentric. So with all these antitheses that rose up, with all these antitheses led to what we have now, which is environmental possibilism. We will learn more about it in the subsequent slides. come to an understanding and a differentiation between the two. We have also seen the way forward as suggested by some researchers. So just a little explanation. If we are to stick with just what the environmental determinists say, then man would be more like an inanimate object or like a chemical that merely reacts to its environment or its surroundings. But here is the case, man is not just a chemical reaction or a robot. But then man has innate principles, has some internal forces like culture, like intellect, like free will. That also drives man to, or that also gives man the ability to be able to create or add on or modify the environment. So in studying geography now we have to have the mindset of environmental possibilism look view concepts view phenomena from the point of possibilism which inculcates both aspects of determinism where environment influences man and where man also influences environment thank you for watching this video for more understanding you can check out the following references for more videos we would encourage you to click on the subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed it